So if I look at my web application now, I have an external style sheet that's styling a few things for me. Background color. Uh, I'm now handling all of my table styling with my external CSS. I've cleaned this up and I've put these input boxes and the labels inside of a table. And I have my clear and submit button. And if I look now, everything appears to be working correctly. There's that user I just put in and I can delete them. So I seem to be able to read, add, and delete from my database uh, just fine. So the next thing I want to work on now is being able to update a record. So when I update a record, I'm going to have two pieces of logic that are occurring. The first thing that I'm going to need is an update button associated with that record. And when I click the update button, the primary key, or in my case, my friend ID, will get passed to the update form servlet as a parameter. The update form servlet will pass that primary key on to the read record class, where it will actually go to the database and return that record I want to update. Once it has those details, uh, it'll pass that record back as a friend object. And then it will update the update form uh, .jsp. So I'll see all of my fields with the information in it. Here I can make changes. And then when I click Submit, the second piece of logic will be to submit this information to the update friend servlet, which will pass it to the update query class, which will update the database. Update query class will then come back, call the read servlet, and then show the table with the updated information. So the first thing I want to do is get this update button uh, working correctly. To get the update button working, I want to get in my read query. That's where I'm creating the table. And I want to go to just in front of the delete. So here's where I was creating the delete functionality. I want to get just in front of it. My href will be update question mark. What's after the question mark is a parameter, and that's going to be the friend ID. All of this is a string that I want passed in, literally. I want to add to that the friend ID of the record I am going to select. So from the object, I'm going to get the friend ID. And then I'm going to add to that update, and this is the text that I click on, and then finally close out my anchor tag. I want to add all of this in front of the delete. So again, from here to here will be new. And I want to test this. So if I open the app, down here, I should see the friend ID being passed as a parameter. Friend ID 4. So it seems to be passing the parameter correctly. But there's nothing mapped to update yet. That'll be a URL mapping I make with my servlet. OK, so I have the update piece working. Uh, I'm going to do the read record class next. Um, and this will take that ID and retrieve it from the database. And then finally, I'll come in and work on the servlet. So right now, I'm going to work on the read record class. It'll be a database helper, new Java class, read record. I'll need to create my constructor in here, um, and my constructor will make my connection. Again, this is pretty easy to just copy.
It needs to have the same name as the class. I'll just import all of those things. And here it's not read query, but it's read record. So I'm going to replace read query with read record. I have a few variables that I'll need to declare. Um, I'll need to create a connection. I'll expect a result set that comes back. Uh, and I'm going to be using friend ID. Friend ID will be getting passed into read record, so I know which record uh, to get. So here I need to create a new object of my class friends, uh, instantiate it, and a variable to hold that friend ID. So it looks like I need to add some imports. So now when the read record class is called, um, the read record constructor will be passed to the friend ID uh, and we'll create this connection. One last thing that I need to do right here as soon as I get declare variables and populate my driver name, server name, username, password, those kinds of things, I need to also get that friend ID that was passed in here and store it in a variable I can use. Here I'm declaring the variable. Here I'm populating the variable. So now that I get the constructor, I need to create the method. And inside of this method, I need to do these things. So the first thing I need to do is set up a string to hold the query, so my SQL. I need to create a prepared statement uh, using that query uh, with the tokens need to fill in that prepared statement, fill in the tokens, and then finally execute that query. So I need to get the one record that I want to update. So I'm going to select everything about that record from the friends table where the friend ID equals to this token. I need to create the prepared statement, and the prepared statement will use this query. I need to fill in that prepared statement, so token one will be the friend ID, and there's only one token. And finally, I'll need to execute the query and get the return results. So it's a read, so I can execute query. And when I do execute the query, I expect something to be coming back. I expect that one record where the friend ID matches to be returned. So I have to be set up to accept it. I'm going to use my friend object that I instantiated up here. And I'm going to use the setters inside of that friend object to set the friend ID with the friend ID coming out of the database and to set the class property friend name with what's coming out of the database from the friend name column and set the class property email address with what's coming out of the database. So now my friend class has been instantiated and all of the properties have been filled in with data coming from the database. And notice 
the data types coming back need to match the data type coming out of the database. So integer, if it's an integer, string, if it's a string. And I have several try catches that need to be handled here. Looks like I can handle the whole block. And finally, the last thing that I need to do is just provide a method to return that friend. So I've built the friend object, I just need to return it. Friend ID will be passed. The read record class will create a friend object. It'll go to the database. It'll bring that one record back and it will take the details of that record coming from the database and stick them into the properties of the object. So the last thing I want to work on here is the form uh, update form servlet. And remember the update form servlet will need to be mapped to the update URL. URL pattern is the little update. That's what I marked, uh, that's what I set my update URL to be. And under the do get, I'm going to not do what NetBeans suggests. I'm going to just simply pass execution on to do post. And then for do post, I'm going to not do what NetBeans suggests. The logic I need to implement is to get the friend ID, then create a read record class, use the read record class to go get the friend data and populate the friend object, and then finally pass the friend object in the control off to the update form.jsp. So friend ID variable is going to be populated uh, from the parameters coming across. The parameter's name is friend ID. It's an integer, so I'm going to parse an integer. I need to create that read record class. So the read record class RR is my object. It's of the type read record, and I'm going to pass the friend ID uh, when I instantiate it. I'm going to execute the doread method, and the doread method will go get the friend data, bring it back, and populate my friend object. And my friend object gets populated with the get friend, uh, where it's just returned. So now my friend object is here, I need to pass it and control to the update form. And to do that, I'm just setting the attribute for friend here. Um, the, this is just a URL, update form.jsp, uh, and then the request dispatcher. And the request dispatcher is just forwarding it along. So now I need to make this update form. Oh, actually, I've got a couple of imports here, it looks like. Okay, I'll create update form. An update form is going to look uh, very much like add, so I believe I'll be able to do some cutting and pasting there.
I created a link to my style sheet and I set the title. And inside of the body, I'm going to create the H1. And I'll just need to make some modifications to my form here. This is the unique name that describes this form, so I'm going to call it Update Form. And I'm going to call it Update Friend. That's the action that we'll take when this form is submitted. So I'll need to map the URL for my servlet that does the updating to this. I'm going to leave it as a GET request now. Uh, that should probably get changed in the future. Uh, this doesn't make sense for an update, so I'll just create a new class in my CSS called Update. And this value Uh, let's see, I'll need, a, I'll need one of these to hold my friend ID. And I'll need to post, a, I'll need to put a value in there. So from the friend object, I'm going to, from the friend object, I'm going to get the friend ID. From the friend object, I'm going to get the friend name. email address. I'll also get the age and I'll get the favorite color and the button should now read update instead of submit. Uh, I'll need to import my friend here it looks like. So at the very top I need to import my model, my friends class and I'll need to set up uh, to receive that friend coming in as a parameter. So here, a single instance of the class, so an object. Um, and to populate the object, I'm going to use the attribute friend. So all of this information, this is setting up and receiving all of the information from the update form servlet. the do post method, it's passing it in. Here, sending it to update form. All right, so I think I've copied and pasted and I have my update form working correctly. Let's save it all up. Um, I do actually need to make one more change to my CSS. I need an update class uh, in my CSS. I was doing an add, I'm just going to do the same thing, only I'm going to call it update because it's on the update page. So at this point, hopefully I have all this functionality working. When I click on update, the update form servlet will get called. Update form servlet will pass that friend ID uh, to the read record class, we'll get it from the database return it to the for update form servlet, the friend object, and the friend object will get passed into update form where we'll use the getters to fill in the information. So let's see if it's working. Number four here, friend ID four is Ben. And it's returning correctly. Now update's not gonna work because I don't have that second leg of functionality programmed in. That's what I'm going to do next, but it's bringing the information back uh, so that I can go in and edit it.